sometimes the people who try to challenge different men of god the truth of the matter is that um for most of them i think it's just the frustration that comes with not getting sufficient results wow. in all honesty and when that frustration becomes outspoken mm -hmm. they secretly seek for a chance to find something that becomes a, a you know an anchor to authorize and they will find it you see there is a difference between coming from a standpoint of love yeah you see that and yeah. coming from a standpoint where you are trying to show that oh you are clapping for this man let me tell you he is not worth that clap because of this so yeah. uh -uh. there are many ways to correct yeah. the goal is to try to tell a generation that you are hyping this honor too much mm -hmm. so you delay it which yeah. is unnecessary exactly. because honor is a grace <laughs> there's a difference between honor and respect mm -hmm. you see you can respect yourself mm -hmm. but you can't honor yourself mm -hmm. honor is conferred upon you by an authority higher than you wow. you see so um these are some of the things but but for the thing i said i remember the statement that he said yeah. i made yeah. In a pastor's uh, uh, church, I will not want to mention his name, he's a man I respect dearly. Wow. So we're talking on doors. Wow. And so I was speaking about portals and the prophetic implication of portals. Wow. And I was saying that there are certain territories, the way we have mineral resources, wow. there are certain territories that when God wants to announce you, he will cause your feet to make contact with those territories. Wow. Wow. You see that? Wow. Now, I didn't teach it as a doctrine. Wow. If I did not teach a thing as a doctrine, Paul will say, I say this as a man. Yeah. You are subject to your interpretation of it. And I, everything I said in that sermon is not wrong. So if you think this is wrong or your revelation is higher than what I've said, just jump it and be edified by the remaining things that are there. You know? Uh, and, uh, and if you have to edit the video, maybe for your consumption, my videos are free online. You can edit that part as far as your consumption. I, I, I think it's too small. It was a statement that was not more than, uh, you know, all, all of that. But, but for, for all the people, let me say this, for all the people who love me and may try to attack that person, leave our apostle. No, no, no. Please don't be hard on them. Give people a chance to be wrong too. He's wrong. Wow is wrong so if if i am wrong and he corrects me in a wrong way yeah. let us show the excellency of what the love of christ can do yeah. so at uh, first i salute his courage to make the observation whatever observation and second i pray for him that he will not reap the harvest the way he has sown the seed it's not it's, it's not even just one person that, that's what i'm saying it doesn't matter of course Whoever. only god knows the number of uh, yeah. it's not these things you see the sacrifice of the fathers should teach us lessons mm. there is a level of success you cannot get to and have everybody clap for you yeah. and it is important it's not it's not it is important that that variety of observation is there yeah. so you cannot you cannot only love people who agree with you yeah. no people have a right to disagree yeah. and yeah. it helps people to grow because yeah. when people see where they disagree with you or your revelation it gives them room to go and study yeah. and it helps the people you are leading to be Bereans themselves yeah. Yeah. you yeah. see yeah. so probably that uh, whatever it is now may have made somebody who listens to me and loves me so much to say look let me now settle down and listen yeah. if i make a mistake or i say something wrong to the body of christ believe me but i'm not too proud and arrogant to say body of christ this is how i saw it yesterday now i've seen clara i'm yeah. sorry yeah. and all yeah. of that no yeah. there's nothing to be ashamed of we're yeah. advocating a dimension of god that is very real we're not acting you see that yeah. um so that was what i was trying to say yeah. that spoke about abe okuta and Lagos. this yeah. and um i still i still believe that that conviction is largely true uh it it never comes above the authority of scripture. but i am telling you from a prophetic standpoint that some of those truths hold but at the same time i respect the revelation of everyone you know i don't know what god has shown them and maybe i will learn from them tomorrow i'm sure i would like to listen to the message of the people who did that post to hear what god has shown them i'm a learner and i'm a student i'm sure that uh, tomorrow i'll hear what god has said and i will be more than grateful to tell them thank you and i'm not just saying it in a sarcastic way i'm saying it sincerely 
if i study their message today and i find out that god has shown them a dimension higher than what he has shown yeah. me with all humility i will receive it i will adjust and i will thank them you see all the people who are under my spiritual influence would have been blessed yeah. by them the yeah. only challenge and this is the mess a message to the body of christ do not find joy in bringing others down mm. to show you are up mm. oh. you see Wow. Uh, is is it does not it does it will make people hate you because it will end up creating controversy the yeah. people that like that man of god or that woman of god will end up attacking you yeah. in honor of the person they love yeah. so it becomes like for uh, for paul and for apollos if the whole world stands against me to throw those people now and criticize them um the body of christ has not profited yeah. so i must love the body more than mission and my ego this is a dimension of fatherhood and leadership we are introducing by god's grace to the body that we must love the body more than our reputation mm -hmm. i'm a human being i can make mistakes yeah. you see that i can i can preach something that based on the light i saw at the time i preached yeah. i probably didn't get it right no problem mm -hmm. the most important thing is that we must approach ministry as to when they are sincerity to have the fortitude to come and preach yeah. and then say well i appreciate what you have seen but i think there is a higher light like yeah. this yeah. so submit to it yeah. rather than than coming online and criticizing why don't you do a little podcast a video <laughs> of the say okay apostle or any man of god for that matter this is what you said and i don't agree with this and since i don't agree with this this is what i think is the correct position let me do a little bible study for you 10 minutes send it to your media team and say let this be a gift to apostle with love from me a fellow apostle a fellow apostle <laughs> or prophet in the body of christ believe me if i receive that kind of video and i listen to it it will take me back to my bible and i look and i see that wow okay it's true what this guy said I didn't see the light I will first call him and I'm the kind of person who can acknowledge them publicly mm, mm. I'm not ashamed to do that yeah. I will say look pastor so 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 or prophet so or apostle this or whoever it is thank you very much for contributing to my spiritual growth yeah. and thank you for helping me align in a greater sense of accuracy mm. so that now I can teach the people you understand so yeah. I, I think yeah. that that's how we should approach it in the body not to attack and do it doesn't um, you have nailed it thank you and, and i'm so happy of course we, we've never talked about this and you just said exactly what we do that that's how we approach the matter yes we don't and that's why you know some of the people that looked at by the time you give them the opportunity of listening to them a lot of them are friends now oh yes if yeah. I even go ahead beyond facebook to say this is my phone number call me let's have a brings this perspective and you bring your perspective because what i found out over the years is that people don't listen to the whole message they just take one minute out that's right mm. <laughs> and at times if you don't listen to the flow and you just take that one minute out you take it out of context that's true and you begin to and you see some of the people that promote some of these things don't share the entire message they just take a clip out and they're like oh he's wrong here how can he say this how can he say that and they begin to fight it let's learn from what he just said now and i think he has and, and, and let, let me just say this just a minute or so yeah. on that the truth is that some of these people that look like enemies or look like controversial people yeah. there is just their approach that yeah, may be wrong approach, some yeah. of them may be very well intentioned people yeah. in fact you should give them and believe that they will intentionally get up of, of course you, you cannot rule out the fact that there may be few who <laughs> may just but, but I, I want to give the benefit of doubt we are yeah. believers yeah. and a believer is not just one who has faith in god a yeah. believer is one who walks by love yeah. by this shall all men know that you are my disciples not when you preach well and so on and so forth so i think that there is no problem with that yeah. um i will want to encourage those people let me say this um when you feel that um, my message or any man of god's message that you respect there are perspectives in it that you don't agree with that's all right yeah. don't think it is a shock it is not a spirit talking mm. is a man who is talking as inspired by the spirit Hallelujah. we see in part we can make mistakes or you can be the one making mistakes yeah. you know and all of that so in any case the key is to sustain the love 
in fact i would recommend this if you think a man of god has made a mistake that you think can be misleading to the body of christ don't come on social media to attack the person yeah. rather this is my proposition take it as joshua selman's proposition make a video of what you think is correct and send it to him or do a bible study a little yeah. pdf of a bible study a correct exegesis of the truth and then i want to encourage men and women of god when people challenge you sometimes they may challenge you in a harsh way they may go on to say a lot of other things that have no business to you know they can challenge you and attack you and now start attacking your church attack your members be calm don't fight back and encourage those who love you too to not fight back in a you know some of those things may not help but i think it's wise do a little bible study yeah. and you can say something like okay man of god i appreciate you for the teaching i listen to this teaching or that one i appreciate you however you said a b c and i think based on my level of growth i think that i have my reservations don't say you are wrong you are misleading the body of christ yeah. this error is bad by what standard do you think you are right yeah. Yeah. You, you, you see that now so yeah. so that that's my encouragement in fact apostle yes. i applaud you have thank you you have just prescribed the remedy 